you guys, it's Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms here in the mountains of North Carolina. And tonight, as part of the ongoing upgrades to Farpoint Restorations, I needed to get myself a boroscope. Now, this is uh, the, I don't even know how to pronounce that, K-Z-Y-E, K-Z, we'll call that. But I picked this up on Amazon. I'll leave a uh, link down there in the description. Now, this was relatively inexpensive. I got this thing for less than $70. Haven't had a chance to play with it at all, but... What can you use one of these puppies for? Well, let me see. Let's go ahead and unbox this thing here. Let me see I'll go ahead and just take a look at a manual. I don't have my glasses on, but it does have some English instructions. Actually, pretty short on instructions. It talks about resolution, so it does do 1080. That's interesting. So it is a high definition, and it does have some LEDs in there. That's nice. So that's cool. So let's go ahead and pull this thing out and uh, take a look at it. So I like the fact that it's got a kind of a smash proof container. It's a nice like rubberized thing. It's not going to slip out of your hands. On the back, industrial endoscope KZ2000. Okay. And uh, these would be our different fittings for the ends here. And I'll show you that in a second. Looks like we've got what is probably a charging cable or maybe to transfer video files over USB cable. Pull this up, and then we have our actual boral scope right here. And so that should have some lights on there. So let me go ahead. I doubt this thing is charged, but eh, who knows? Let's see. I'm going to try to turn it on. No, it's dead. So I am go. Oh, well, maybe if I actually turned it on. There we go. No kidding. So let me plug it in then. Okay, that's a lot clearer <laughs> of a uh, feed as I would have expected. Nice. Now I got the one that has, I think this is a 15 foot cable. They also had one for about $10 more that was a 33 foot cable. So what do you use a boroscope for? Well, I'm gonna show you. I'm going to look, I'm gonna pull out a spark plug. I wanna see if there's cylinder wall scoring on an engine that I'm working on because it has lower compression than the rest. I could see if it has a cracked valve. I could see if it, um, let's see, I'll aim this at something. There we go. I could see if it has a cracked valve. I could see if it has a problem with the cylinder wall or, um, you know, who knows? There could be other damage. Maybe there's even indication of coolants getting in there if the cylinder is extremely clean. So well, that's one thing you use it for. But if you were a plumber or an electrician or worked in construction, well, this would be something you would want to look around with. Uh, you could go through walls and see if there was some damage to the interior of a wall or you could go into uh, if you were a plumber you could go run down the pipes and see if there's an issue with cloggage or hair or whatever a trap problem whatnot so there's a lot of uses for these things they've been on the market for years now but I'll tell you what they've not been on the market for this kind of price tag for very long uh, something like this just a short three or four years ago was absolutely uh, in the five to six hundred dollar range to get a snap on one of these which our old shop used to have was like fifteen hundred dollars And I can tell you right now that the uh, video quality is better on this Than um, than the snap on one that we used to have of course, you know time keeps rolling on Anyway, let me uh, pause the camera here. I'll pull out a spark plug and let's take a look at this thing Oh one more thing before I move on um, And this is important if you're going to be using this in an automotive field So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these out of here and what we have here are a variety of different attachments. Some of these are going to be uh, mirrors, so you're going to be able to reflect up, and that's what this one right here is. So what I'm going to be able to do is I can stick this down into a hole and look back up at the valves. And then, of course, we have you know just our straight up and down. That's kind of a protector. And then we have this hook here, so we can actually use the camera to go down and grab something and pull it out. So these are some pretty cool little fittings we have here. But for the start, I'm going to use just this one and this one. I'm going to go down straight in with it, and then we will take it and uh, use the uh, cam uh, the mirror and see if we can look up at the valves. All right, we're going to just start off with right down into that hole. There's our spark plug hole. You can see as we go in, we'll be able to inspect the cylinder. And man, look at how nice and bright that is. So I, I'm looking at the inside of that cylinder wall and I'm looking for damage and I'm actually seeing that this is beautiful it's got a light pattern around it but nothing that would indicate that uh, you know I had things to worry about at this point nice 
that's actually really great news. Okay, so the second half of this, let me pull this back out. I'll go ahead and put the attachment on here and we'll take a look at the valves. And one thing I do want to point out is that this actually screws on because you definitely, especially in automotive, do not want that thing flying out of there and disappearing. <laughs> that would be bad. All right, so you get the general idea, but let's go back. I want to show you some of the other features this thing has. There's up-down buttons here. I can, I can run through this. Um, it's a little hard for you to see probably, but let me go through it. There's, so there's four icons here. We'll go ahead and start with uh, that one. We hit enter and that gives us our resolution. Right now we have a 1080 version number. It does come with 8 gig of internal memory. That should be more than enough for recording anything you want to review later on or show to a customer or whatnot. Then we have rotate mode, so it can change that from a vertical to a horizontal image if you'd like. Zoom, we can zoom in or zoom out. USB mode, it does have a USB port here for recharging and probably transferring of files, I would imagine. LCD mode is there, and then we're back to resolution. Now here on the top, let me go ahead and show you this. We have the light here, and we have the ability to change. You can write, look at the desk right there. Right, if I turn that all the way up, you can kind of see the light, and I turn it all the way back down. So I have an adjustable brightness there, which is really kind of cool. Um, let me go ahead and back out of that, and I'll show you what I mean here, if I can hold this at the same time. So I'm pointing it at the table, and you can see the light as I dim it back out. But it's, it's fairly... And I'm sorry for the shaky cam, but it's very difficult to hold one, one part here. And then we have uh, the ability, if I hit enter here, we can record video. So let me just go ahead and hit playback. Oop. Uh, there we go. We'll play that. And you can see there's a recording I took a while back, just testing it out. So not a bad quality for the recording. And it also, of course, has the ability, if I move up there to that, I can, I can also take a look at... Um, oops. I can take a look at my pictures. Oh, let's see here, how am I getting in that? There we go. Oh, there's the picture. <laughs> so picture mode, and you can scroll through those. So not bad, right? I mean, it, it pretty much, I'm not gonna lie to you, compared to the um, Snap-on one that I've used uh, over the years, this one has a higher resolution. It seems to have better, um, um, like better throw of light so like the light coming off of it is better I might be able to say that some of that's from you know just years of grime and stuff getting on the lights in the old one but of course LED tech has come a long way in those uh, five or six years so it's quite possible that it genuinely is brighter I like the fact that it has built-in memory I like the fact that you can transfer those files over to your computer I just kind of like it I mean it's just it is what it is if you are in the need to have one of these things, well, then you know what it is you're looking for. Cost-wise, it's hard to argue that a tool like this at less than $70 is not worth the money. I mean, it comes with the little adapters, and it comes with 16 foot of wire, which is more than enough for, I would say, construction and automotive use. Perhaps if you're into plumbing uh, you, or sewer work, you might want to get the 33 foot or the longer one. Anyway, that, that's going to wrap it up. I, I like the fact that it came with a cable and a decent manual. I mean, what else is there to say, right? Anyway, I'm Eric, the owner of Farpoint Farms. Hope you enjoyed this review of the KZ or KE or K, KZEA model KZ2000 uh, borescope. Really nice little piece of equipment, and I'm glad to have it here on the farm. Take care. Something that needs a little fixing on Farpoint Farm.